Hey guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. So today is another passive income report and we're gonna be looking at the month of August. Now I'm quite intrigued to see how this month went just because in August, you guys might already know, I did take some time off. So I temporarily stopped doing Friday videos. I think probably after the second week in August because I was just getting a little bit stressed out with the wedding and stuff and obviously YouTube and full-time work and it was just a whole load of faff, but we won't talk about that in this video but essentially I didn't do Friday videos for a while plus I didn't do a live during that month either and I also went off Instagram as well I think with Instagram I was off for about two weeks so yeah I'm really quite interested to see how this month went in terms of whether I was actually still generating some passive income or did it just all go down to zero so make sure you do stick towards the end of this video so that you can find out now just a quick reminder that when I do these passive income videos they're more so passive income generated from my business so my side hustle rather than you know my own personal finances so this is why I don't actually include things like dividends or things like bank interest just because I'm really focusing more on my side hustle and business so yeah hopefully that clarifies everything and without further ado let's get started so the first one I want to talk about is of course affiliate marketing now I'm not really sure why I always do this first it's probably because it's the worst one usually so I just kind of want to get it out of the way because I just don't tend to really do very well when it comes to affiliate marketing I think there's still a lot more work to do and if you're not really sure what affiliate marketing is it's basically me getting commission for driving you to either like a company's product or service or actually being able to use a company's link so for example I've got different affiliate links in my description below and if you use that link and maybe purchase a product it's at no additional cost to you but I will make a small commission just because I've driven you to that website for example so that's essentially how it works but with things like Amazon I think it's especially useful because even if you don't actually purchase something that I recommended if you you still use my link I will still make a small commission I think it's just because I've driven you to that website so if you're ever thinking about buying something on Amazon you can always use my link not that I'm telling you to do that but of course it would help a sister route but essentially for this month I did not do very well with affiliate marketing at all I mean for most months I don't really necessarily do very well with affiliate marketing but it's okay we still keep going however during the month of August in terms of affiliate marketing I actually ended up making 56 pence which is around 77 cents so yeah less than a pound for the month of August again I'm not really too surprised at that because I haven't really just gathered how to do affiliate marketing very well I mean I did also sign up for a network so I think I signed up for share a sell network and I essentially got rejected because I don't necessarily have my own website where I'm actually producing content on there like a blog or something so yeah I really want to try and get my website sorted it's one of my goals for this year I just haven't done anything like I'm not even gonna lie I've not done anything however I'm still hoping maybe I can potentially get something done this year and then hopefully I can then sign up to that network and the reason why I really want to join that specific network is just because they actually work with different companies where you can then become an affiliate from and then you will get paid by that network so rather than me being an affiliate for different companies and being paid out differently if I actually join that network I could just basically get paid once from that network from the different companies that I'm working with so so I'm hoping I can do that in the future. I just need to get some stuff sorted. But essentially what that means is in terms of how I have been doing so far this year, I have actually made £44.05. Pence. Yeah, that's essentially how I did um, for the month of August and how I've done so far. And if you're liking this video so far, then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel. Plus it's free. So next up, let's talk about my paid products. So if you're new to my channel, but I'm sure most of you aren't, essentially I have some budget templates that I sell on my Etsy store currently, and they are basically a monthly budget template and also a weekly budget template. And in terms of the template, it doesn't just include a budget. It actually includes a net worth calculator because I do think that's important as well as a sinking funds calculator so if you're interested in checking out my templates I will of course leave that link in the description below for you but essentially that is what I've been selling from the beginning of this year so in terms of my budget templates I didn't actually know if I was going to make much money this month just purely because obviously it's August you know it's summer and not many people tend to focus again on their personal finances during summer but then also because I had taken some time out of YouTube so I didn't know whether that could impact my sales but it didn't actually impact 
hurt my sales very much at all, which I'm very, very happy about. So in terms of how I did in August, I actually ended up making £39.12. And that was actually after Etsy took their fees as well. So that's basically how much I pocketed, which is around $54. So I'm really, really surprised at that actually. And if you've purchased my spreadsheets, then thank you. I hope you really enjoy it. But happy at the same time, because I really did not expect to make much money at all. And that's actually, I think, more than I made in June, I would say. So I'm really impressed with that. It's not as much as I made in July. So in July, I did make quite a lot of money, actually. I think I made more than £40. But essentially, I made almost £40 during that month. So really, really happy with that. And in terms of how I've done so far, this means that I've essentially made £380.22, which is around $526. So we are getting closer to that 500 mark. I think my goal was about a thousand. But when I did set that goal, I didn't necessarily take into account the fees that Etsy usually take from me. So, you know, I'm really, really proud of how that's just been progressing. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to see how I do for the rest of the year. If I can reach that 500 pounds mark, at least I would definitely be very, very happy. And then of course, let's move over to free shares. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've always questioned whether I would include free shares as like my affiliate marketing, because I know some people do that or free shares separately. Personally, I chose to do free shares separately just because they're basically free shares. I'm not essentially getting a commission. I'm just getting a free share. And also with free shares, obviously the values of the shares can also fluctuate sometimes a little bit as well. So it can be quite hard to calculate, but I just calculate it at the point of when I basically filmed this video and just calculate the share price then. So yeah, it's a little bit hazy, but I do think it's quite useful again to capture just to see if I'm able to generate at least some bit of income as well, even if it does change a little bit. But in terms of my free shares, if you didn't know, I use two platforms for that. So I use Trading212 as my main platform. So that is my main investment platform, but I also use Free Trade. But essentially I use those two platforms. Trading212 I use for my ISA. So essentially if I put money into that and I get any capital gains, that means it's basically tax free. But then with Free Trade, I use a general investment account. So with that, if I make any capital gains or if I receive dividends, that could be liable for tax. Obviously you do have things like capital gains allowances. So it's all good for me because I don't actually put that much money into my free trade account. But essentially I have links in the description below. So if you're ever interested in using those platforms, then you can use my link and we will both receive a free share. Just remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to use those platforms because I always say those platforms are not for everyone, especially when I talk about trading 212 as well, because they have been changing their terms and conditions. So all I would say is make sure you're doing your research with that. And if you don't think you understand anything, then personally, I wouldn't be investing in it. So again, just make sure you do your research with everything. But if you just want the free share, then obviously then that's all great as well. So in terms of trading 212, again, they've not been doing free shares at all. And I don't know if they've been bringing in any more new customers. And I believe they still do have a waiting list. But in terms of free trade, it's been fine. I mean, I've got a couple of free shares there. So I feel like I've rambled on a bit too much, but it's always because I want you guys to make sure you do your research and make sure you invest in something that's comfortable for you. But in terms of my free trade, free shares, essentially it totaled around 20 pounds and 26 pence, which is around $28. Now remember this can fluctuate, so this may go up or down, but essentially when I calculated during that time at that share price, it came to about 20 pounds or $28. So in total, in terms of how I've done so far this year, it does mean that I have made around approximately 446 pounds and 21 pence, which is around $617. Again, this may fluctuate with the share price and things like that. However, I think it's just quite good to know a rough guide in terms of how much I've made. And then also I don't tend to cash out my free shares either. I tend to either just keep it in the platform or if I end up selling it, I will reinvest it into something else. And then next up we have YouTube ad revenue. So this is purely basically from my videos. And if you watch my ads, then I make money. And the longer you watch my ads, the more money I end up making, even though it's not always that much, but it's still something. So in terms of how I've done so far, I think it's just been really interesting to see particularly what August was like because I didn't do as many videos as usual and I just really wanted to see whether I actually ended up making a whole lot less money or maybe it was just around the same. So in terms of how I did in August, I actually ended up making £132.14 which is around $183. So actually I'm very surprised at that just because when we take a look at my analytics, you will see the difference between August and July and I think it's just interesting to see just how much of a difference it was in terms of 
my revenue so let's now take a look at my analytics and just see what was happening so as always here are my analytics for the month of august so you can see that in the month of august i actually ended up generating 18,000 views 1.6 thousand watch hours 330 people subscribed to my channel so if you are a recent subscriber hello and i hope you're enjoying the content if you're not just let me know and if you are then amazing comment below and let me know and i generated again 132 pounds it says 16 pence here but i'm pretty sure it was 14 pence when i got my google adsense so you can see here as well the amount of videos i produced as well so in the beginning of the month this is when i started still doing friday videos so you can see three videos here but you can see how it now starts to space out because i was no longer doing friday videos so i ended up only doing six videos during that month usually i tend to do between eight to ten videos depending on how many days are in the month but yeah that's how much i'll usually do so it was quite a big jump i would say in terms of the amount of content that i was no longer doing but what's interesting is if i go to july you can see actually in terms of the view count it wasn't that much so in july i ended up generating 18,200 views and in August I ended up generating 18,100 views so I was still getting quite a lot of views which I was really really surprised at I generally thought my views would maybe be about 15,000 so it was nice to know that it didn't change that much obviously watch time hours were slightly more in July this is what's funny is that I ended up actually getting more subscribers in August than I did in July so in August again I think it was 330 I believe yeah 330 subscribers and then in July I ended up getting 299 subscribers so I got like 31 more subscribers which was amazing and then you can see my revenue was about 135 pounds and 46 pence whereas in August it was about 132 pounds so the fact that it's only basically like a three pounds difference and I didn't actually produce as much content so again I did maybe four to five less videos is absolutely mad to me and I think that's when you can really start to think this is essentially passive income in that I don't always have have to be producing the same amount of videos every single month for me to generate a similar amount of income so it's obviously nice to know you do still need to be consistent so i think if i completely dropped off and didn't do any videos at all i reckon my revenue probably would have tanked a bit but i think because i was still at least being consistent with weekly videos you know doing one day a week i was still able to generate some revenue so that was just amazing to see and i think that was just kind of all i wanted to show for this month but essentially what that meant is that so far when it comes to my YouTube ad revenue I have now finally crossed the £1,000 mark which is amazing it's taken me a very long time to get there however I'm still very proud of myself to cross the £1,000 mark but in terms of how I've done so far I have now made over £1,113.79 which is around $1,540 so obviously if you're thinking about dollars I've made more than £1,500 but when you're looking at pounds I've made more than £1,100 so really happy with just everything and how it's going again there's still a bit of work to do but I'm still proud of the progress so in total when it comes to my passive income in terms of how I've done for the month of August I ended up making 192 pounds and eight pence which is about 265 dollars and 74 cents so just under the 200 pound mark I think I'd been consistent around the 200 pounds mark so just a bit lower but again the fact that I still took some time off in August and I was still able to generate at least $250 and over £190 is absolutely amazing to me and obviously when you start to compare it to July in July I did make slightly more I actually made £225.71 which was around $314.07 so yeah there was a bit of a difference in terms of August and July but at least I'm still being quite consistent I would say so yeah looking forward to seeing how September goes so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments how difficult do you think it is to make passive income i do post every tuesday and friday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on friday